Look at, like, I don't think I understand. Oh no, it did that. Today, we are using the Scala Brasil Maracujá. I think that's how you say it. Maracujá means passion fruit. It's a Brazilian hair treatment. Honestly, I loved my results with this product right here this was my results using this scala expert avocado treatment do you see the juiciness of the curl and that was used as a pre shampoo treatment i have seen a lot of people use this as a styling cream and that's what we're doing today for a wash and go i don't know if these are technically different products since this says scala expert versus this one that says scala brasil if you know put a song below comment down below my hair is freshly washed i'm super excited before we try it though let's learn a little more about the product hey baby loves welcome back to the fiesta if you're new here my name is key shana dupuy and if you're not uh -huh, you're loyal don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell down below if you're interested in seeing weekly hair or skin product reviews tips tricks and advice every sunday this one actually does have translation whereas when i use this product i had to fully translate the bottle i'm just going off of the translations that's actually on this bottle it's not going to be super smooth english but that's totally okay we're going to translate it for it to make sense for us it says 100 percent vegan crecimiento e forca growth and strength it is 35.2 fluid ounces and i got it on amazon for 15 dollars they definitely increased the price once it started going viral on TikTok. Uh, Nutricao Amazonica. I'm assuming that says nourishing Amazonian product. That's probably where the maracuja. I love the picture in the front. Look at the passion fruit right here. Super cute. I love passion fruit. I'm really excited to see how it smells. It looks like a tribal Brazilian woman. Love the art gorgeous this is for external use only it is a passion fruit and patua oil hair treatment conditioning i have never heard of patua oil it must be a brazilian origin type of ingredient free of sulfate parabens petroleum silicones and mineral oil period you can use it as a co-wash and at the top it says two in one crema de tratamiento acondicionadora y crema para peinar. So to me, using my Spanish, I'm assuming that says two on one. You can use it two ways. You can either use it as a conditioning treatment, so a conditioner, or as a kind of styler. Spainar means comb. Directions. Apply to shampooed hair. So freshly cleansed hair. Massaging thoroughly each lock of hair for three minutes and rinse well. So that is if you're going to be using it as a conditioner. It can be used to replace traditional conditioner and leave-in. I love that it includes the expiration date right here. It expires June of 2026. So I'll definitely be throwing it out after that. But I'm likely going to use it way before. It is not tested on animals. You can get it in Colombia. Panama, period. Chile, Uruguay, and Ecuador. Brazil's flora is our secret formula. It has the warning symbol and the ingredients there. Listen, oh my God, look, it had little palm trees in the, in the cold, in the product cold. Do y'all see the vibes? Let's get the, the little QR code at the top. It says that's what you can scan if you want more info. Their site has an American version. It's translated. You just click the little flag right here and it will open up. You can select what language, what country you would like it to be translated into. This is so cute. They have different recommendations based on your hair type. They have a baby line too. Oh my God, how cute. It says we are so passionate about Brazil. Our country is made out of rhythm, colors, and lovely landscapes. Therefore, we create products with our very best actives and they also carry the Brazilian spirit. Our formulas have all the richness from Brazil. Their tagline is Beza para todos so beauty for everyone is what i'm translating that to okay so the website says this is ideal for straight or frizzy hair curly super curly weak dull dry messy chemically treated damage a little bit of everything so scala brazil amazon nutrition passion fruit and patula oil enhances hair growth making it stronger and more resistant so strengthening your hair and growing your hair. Patool oil, also known as Amazon oil, is, is a fruit which helps with fast hair growth. Passion fruit and patool oil family is perfect for nutrition and reconstruction. I'm guessing of the hair strands. Nutrition, dry strands, and tips. This stage, lipids are restored, making strands aligned with movement. 
reconstruction to damage strands with rubber effects. So I'm guessing like the elasticity is supposed to revive your elasticity and help repair and nourish your hair. That's what I'm getting from all this. And it does clarify that you can use it as a, a conditioner. You can use it as a conditioner, massage into your hair for three minutes, rinse it out well. You could put on a heat cap for 15 minutes and then rinse off. You can use it as a leave-in, apply a small amount in damp hair and spread throughout. Do not rinse, style as usual. A pre-shampoo with dirty hair, split in locks. Apply on rough strands, letting it rest, rinse it, wash it with shampoo, and apply some hair conditioner. Or a co-wash. Our formula has emollient ingredients, which is capable of promoting cleanse, which is capable of cleansing the hair, better said. Suitable to strands, sensitized with chemicals and dyeing. So color treated hair like mine is gonna benefit from this product. Here's what I'm learning. Although on social media, they use this as a styling product, it does seem like Scala recommends it more as a co-wash or a regular conditioner, something that you really wash it out. If you're using it as a leave-in, it's more of apply a little bit, not too much. We're still not gonna listen. We're gonna try it as a styling product. And after that, if it doesn't work, we know to only use it as a co-wash. I actually love using this as a co-wash. It really gets the hair soft, detangles off of rough dry hair check my original video out if you're curious about how my experience was click right here above it's gonna pop up also off of pure excitement i also bought the mango virgin so let me know if you want me to try it after this one i'm going to section off my hair and let's try it together let's smell it Ooh. i'm hoping that it gives me i'm in brazil and vibing oh heck yeah this smells beautiful. This makes you feel like you're in somebody's island. I don't want to say in the Amazon because I've never been in the, buy in the Amazon. So I, don't, I don't know what to expect. But I love passion fruit. It definitely doesn't smell strictly like passion fruit. You can tell there's something else going on. So the, 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 the Patua oil is involved in this. Just know it smells yummy and it smells tropical. And I love products that smell super yummy because then I feel like when I swing my hair around, you're able to smell it. Period. Okay, so I learned from the Brazilian mommies and papis to put it in the cap so that you're not putting your dirty hands constantly in the actual bottle cross-contaminating. If you put it in the cap, you use it from here while you're styling. And if you're watching this, I'm gonna assume you've seen the Brazilian mommy and poppies with their curly, beautiful hair. They know what they're doing in Brazil. They really got this down to a science at this point. Okay, so again, here we are. I actually don't know if I should do a twist out or a wash and go. Let's do two tries. This one, we're gonna do a regular wash and go. And then on a different piece, we'll do a twist out and see what we'd rather do. Although I trust that I could absolutely apply the product straight onto dried hair, I rather dampen my hair and give it a better chance. Here's how the product looks. It's thick enough to not fall off my finger, but it feels super lightweight and silky and creamy all at the same time. It almost has this, it's like a cream gel feeling, like super, I don't know how to explain it, y'all. Definitely feels like it's about to have, oh yeah. A lot of slip. I was feeling like it was about to have a lot of slip. This feels so silky. Y'all seeing this? Y'all see how my... Oh, yeah. That's just with my fingers. Just smoothing it in. Okay, so let's finger coil now. Look how, how pretty. Oh my gosh. I see why people don't listen and just use it as a styling product because it, it gives results, honey. Okay, so a little scrunchy scrunch just to really get it up in there. Look at the finger coils. They're so bouncy and juicy. I'm impressed. I knew that it was likely to be good Based on my first experience with Scala, the way it detangles your hair is just immaculate. But this is fire. I wonder why Scala doesn't recommend it be used as a styling product when you can use it as a leave-in, which means you can leave it in your hair. Curious. Ah! Let's try one more and we're just gonna do a twist out with it to see what we prefer. 
Okay, so this is the before of this section. We have dampened it. I have low porosity here. It dries very quickly. So I'm just gonna make sure the water really gets in there. Okay, so here it is damp. And now for the product. It really does smell delicious. I think that might be too much. I'm gonna apply it anyways. Look at, like, I don't think I understand. Oh no, it did that. The more product you apply on your wet hair, not to say to overdo it, I'm definitely heavy handed, but you just see how that, like, whoa. That's gorgeous, so juicy. To go from this dryness up here to this so easily, I'm just impressed, in love, scala. Holla at your girl. Y'all wanna work with somebody in America? Call me, cause I love this. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna keep smoothing it in. We're on a mission, we're on a mission. I'm gonna do a twist out. I have three loves about this right now, just instantly. The smell is delicious, super yummy. It makes me wanna go to Brazil. I already wanna go to Brazil. I really feel like I can hang with the Brazilian mommies when they be doing a little Afro funk twerk off. Yeah. Uh, two, a little goes a very long way. It makes your hair react really quickly. And three, which is a really big one, my hair is reacting so quickly that it will cut my styling time in half because I don't need to take that much time to do my hair. Okay, and here it is as a twist out. They're just so juicy that they're trying to unravel, but that went so easy, super quick. I love how juicy the twists are, but to be honest, I cannot resist this. This is gonna be too pretty. We're gonna do a wash and go. We're gonna wash it for the next two days to see how long this lasts, cause this is gorgeous. I never do big sections with my wash and go, so I'm about to try one. It's crazy the, well, the way my hair just melts at the touch of this product. Instantly starts absorbing it. Just take your time smoothing it in, and yes. I'm expecting at least two days out of this. It just feels too good. We're halfway done with this side. And although the coils are gorgeous, there are some frizzy pieces. The roots are coming out pretty frizzy. So I'm actually gonna do a half wash and go, half twist out to see what vibes we get. So let's keep going with the wash and go side. I still have faith. I feel like this is gonna be like the better side, the preferred side. But let's see. The wash and go side is struggling because my hair is dry right now. When your hair is actually damp all the way to wet, the results are much better. It's not as frizzy. So get your hair as wet as possible when styling with this product. If you're going to use it as a styling cream or leave-in. And any sections that I feel like the product is kind of sitting on the hair and not absorbing into the hair, I'm just making sure to re-wet. It's still so pretty. I could leave it like this, but I am choosing two finger coil just to give it a tighter coily effect. <sighs> We're halfway done. This was going really well until I got to the top portion that started getting super frizzy for some reason. I had to slow down, I had to do smaller coils, but we made it. Some pieces are still super frizzy, but other pieces are too cute. This is the very first example section that we did. Look at the coils, look at how they're staying. There's a slight hole to it, a little, a little crunchy crunch that I'm liking because I do rather hold for my hair. It lasts longer that way. It looks really full. It's voluminous and defined at the same time. Period. We're gonna see what happens day two and day three. But Scala, I feel like this is a styling cream. I don't feel like we just have to use it as a pre-shampoo, co-wash, or leave-in. I feel like we can use it like this. This is gorgeous. Okay, so this side I'm gonna do in twist and we'll be able to see which style we like better. By the way, this cap full of product that I started with still is not done. When I say a little goes a long way, I meant it. I got this entire half done. Like that's a lot. That's crazy for me. Twist out, going super quick. We already got the back side done. And I'm gonna do this front piece with you guys. So make sure your hair is wet.
This is just from raking it in. Just raking the product in. That's insane. A lot of product is here, but look at it. Juicy, juicy. Like, so juicy, so beautiful. And then I finger coiled this front piece just because I love to see it finger coiled. It's such a cute curl. I love that this product is safe for color treated hair. Hair that's damaged, like you just all around. Pretty safe bet using it. I'm actually liking the twist outside better than the wash and go finger coil side better. Let's keep going. Really quick. If you made it this far, I hope you like and subscribe because you're already vibing with your girl. On this channel, we care about growing our hair and having glowing skin all at an affordable price. So if that's something you can relate to, go ahead and comment down below what product I need to try next. Put me on. I am so excited to try it, especially if it's from a different country that I can try, like a Mexican product, another Brazilian product. I Whatever is for the curly hair, please put me on. And then like, subscribe, and keep watching. We're done. Look at the twist out and the wash and go. I literally can't believe that I did my entire head heavy handed with one cap full of product. It was overflowing, but like it didn't spill at all. You guys seen how much I put originally and there's still some. This product goes a long way and gives absolutely beautiful results. You can see the difference in shrinkage. I'm sure it's going to shrink more overnight but I love the slight hold and crunch that this is giving my hair it is gorgeous I can't wait to be able to take this out and see the results we get what do you think which do you prefer just off of this look right now honestly a wash ago is a wash ago my whole head would look juicy and voluminous at the same time the definition and shine that this is providing to know that it also is for growth and strengthening the hair, like my color treated pieces, not too many are left after my haircut, but look at how they're reacting. So gorgeous, so coily, and like I said, there's a slight hold to this. Very nourishing. I just think that it took better, especially in the roots with the twist. They're holding better, they're more defined. And look at the little coil. And with the type of hole that this is providing, I feel like you can have a nice twist out for a few days with no worries and style it and hold it and then take it out and probably have great results. Which do you feel like looks better? Which will you be trying? What, what's the, what, how do you feel? How do you feel? I know for sure this smells amazing. I know off of the avocado scala that as a pre-wash, co-wash and anything pre it's gonna detangle the heck out of your hair. So we know what it looks like day one, but what does it look like day two and day three? That's the question. How does this hold up? And what side do we prefer? Let's talk about it. Here is day two. Day two. And let me tell you, I am loving the results. This is too frizzy for what I typically like my wash and goes to be, but it is so shiny and moisturized and healthy looking. I think it's really cute. A slightly looser curl pattern will get rid of all the frizziness or more patience or more water. Something, I gotta figure out the technique, but I actually really, really, really like the way it looks. And then this twist out is going so well. Some pieces are trying to unravel, has been since last night, but look at the juiciness, look at the tight coil. It looks so healthy as well. I love it. I'm gonna take it out tomorrow and we'll have our final discussion how we feel. And here is day three. It's day three of using the Scalamarago Ja. And you know what? We're gonna take out these twist outs. I actually am so happy with the way this is holding. One, because if you wanted to leave your twist out for a few days, there is literally no frizz. The coils are coiling still. Look at the little extra one right here. Look, look, look at the little baby. Beautiful. The twists are twisted, but at the same time, the finger coils are held. The frizz that start, whatever frizz you have from the start though is gonna stay. So get it as good as possible if you're gonna do a wash and go. Overall though, the definition, the coils, the softness, the shine, you see how healthy the colored pieces look too? Like I, come on now, this is great. It's time to take out the twist. Let's see what it's given. Let's do this first one together. I have no oil on my hands right now. 
Oh yeah. This cute. This is about to be gorgeous. And it's elongated. Like it's a little more stretched out than this side is with all its shrinkage. So let me take it out and then we're gonna we're gonna talk. We're gonna decide if we like it better as a wash and go or a twist out. Look at the result. This twist out came out fire. Like just absolutely fire. My hair is so soft. Still no frizz. It looks shiny and healthy and voluminous. I think that this side is a lot more voluminous and flowy than this wash and go side. Although both sides have a softness to it, this has a little more hold to it, but also the frizzy pieces do feel dry. Whereas this side just feels super soft and moisturized. I am super happy. I feel like from afar, it just looks like I have a wash and go going, but when you get close, you can notice a difference in the curl pattern. So the coils of a wash and go versus the curl and wave of a twist out. Hmm, honestly, I think I'm going for the twist outside. There's something about it that's making me very happy. The coils on this are so cute, but until I get the technique down that gets rid of all the frizz, I just, I'm not loving it as much as I like this side. Still cute, just not as much as this one. What do you think? Comment down below right now. Twist out or wash and go. One thing's for sure, this Scala Brazil Maracuja Styling Cream is what I'm calling it. It's so key approved. It is suggested that you use it as a co-wash, a conditioner, or a little bit for a leave-in. I chose to make it wash and go versus twist out. I feel good about it. If you want to try it, don't hesitate because baby, this came out so good. I'm very happy. Scala, holla at your girl. If you need a, a American mommy to promote your products because I'm happy. Let me know if you have any questions about the product, product suggestions, or video requests, because if your idea is selected, you will get a shout out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Ciao.